the wrap around I'm having a hard time with. Okay. Again, when he throws that punch, I step back. I have a little bit of a check here, and I have this distraction when I step back. When that second punch comes in, it's already coming through. I'm coming here, I'm wrapping, and I'm pushing it really tight. When you remember this with the chain, it really yeah. just tears into the skin right there. And now I'm twisting and turning and pushing, boom, as I do this whole thing to get to here. From this part, I have this one and this one if I want to wrap. Normally, I would let go, right? I break the arm, let go, or pop down onto the body to scoot him away from me, and I have this. Or maybe you're going to, to do this. If you want to do a technique of a wrap, which is just this wrap right here. And the idea behind this wrap is he throws a punch and I come down and I wrap, wrap around this way. So he comes in, I'm down, and I wrap. That's yeah. the technique. So he comes in and boom, I'm here. We're combining it with the arm wrap to have the two. So we have the one, then we have the wrap. I come down here and I do the same wrap here, right there. Now if I have his wrist, it creates, a, it's, it's really hard to do something like this in real life because people are going to start wiggling around. But if I have his wrist and I have a chain, he comes in, and I have more of his body right here. When I go up to his face to wrap, look what it does with his hand. This is kind of cute, huh? It kind of holds his hand to his neck. It's like kind of, you kind of tie him up. But something like that, that's going to happen from step A to step B to step C to step C. Step A to step C, B to step C. <laughs> step C, yeah. Step D to step C. It's not going to happen that way. It's not going to go one, yeah. two, three, four. So we're just working on different parts. But maybe you'll be in a, in a, in a scenario where somehow maybe he's, you, you, you know, you kick him in the knee, he falls down, he reaches for a screwdriver, and he's, okay, maybe the other hand, because that's the one I'm going to, he reaches for a screwdriver, reaches for me, and somehow I get to here. And maybe, boom, I break that arm, and then I hold this here, and then maybe I can stab him, stab him with himself, or he's going to take the screwdriver out with his other hand. <laughs> If you get into that scenario, that's the idea of the wrap. So, right there, it's the same movement twice. We're teaching, we're teaching this movement right there. It doesn't matter if it's on the hand or the head. So that punch comes out. This is the movement one, and the hand comes out and I drop it. This is the movement two. It's the same type of a choke. So we're just teaching this thumbs down technique with a weapon. The first thumbs down technique is the attack, just striking yeah. to the eyes. The second one is the wrap on the hand to control an arm, and the third is to control the body with the choke, wrapping around the neck. So you're doing all three now in a, in a practice routine.